Hello everyone and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode, things were looking pretty grim until uh, our old pal Larry saved the day. But saved the day. Potentially. Now everything kind of uh, relies on his testimony not screwing us over. Uh, not a, this is not a good position to be in, so I'm just gonna hope for the best. Court is back in set now back in session. Witness, please testify to the court about everything that you saw on the night of December 24th. All right, leave it to me. Please, Larry, don't mess this one up. I hate to admit it, but you're our last chance. <laughs> oh no, uh No, this will be over in three minutes. Von Karma didn't even have time to prep his witness. I just hope Edgeworth is right about this being our big break. That night I was out in the boat by on the lake. I was looking for something and I found it. So I quietly slipped... Uh, wow, his voice changed very fast. So I quietly slipped back... The boat back at, at the rental shop dock. Then just as I was thinking about going home, I heard this bang. I looked out over the lake, but I didn't see a boat. So after I heard that single gunshot, I went home. Wait, all of that is lies. Hmm. That was an unusually vague testimony, even for this court. <laughs> even for this court. In any case, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. What's wrong, Nick? It's Larry. I have no idea what he's going to say if I press him. I'm a little scared. Oh, is this a sign that I don't press him on everything? Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna be a little bit more selective here. I feel like this is the game telling me something. Hmm, well, we've come this far. There's no way to go but forward, Nick. Okay. Out in a boat on the lake. I feel like I need to, I feel like I need to press that, but there's no there's no lie. <laughs> Something wrong, Mr. Wright. There were so many things wrong, I don't know where to begin. <laughs> ah! Uh, well, okay, first of all, what time was it? Oh, it was after 11 when I went out on the boat. By the time everyone had gone home for the night. So I waited until the coast was clear, so to speak. And why were you out on a boat at such a late hour? I was looking for something, and I have found it. This could... Alright, we're just gonna press everything until it bites us. Looking for something? Uh, yeah. Mr. Butts, what was it you were looking for? What the witness was searching for is irrelevant. Most likely he was hunting for this Gordy. That's surprisingly close to the truth in a sense. This is all irrelevant. Let's get it over with. Shoot. Alright, well it didn't hurt, so I quietly slipped the boat back at the, the rental shop dock. Gonna press. Around what time was that? Uh, well, let's see. I figure I, I was out searching for about an hour. Okay, that's important. I guess it was around 12. Yeah. You're not sure? Hey, don't give me that face. I'm not some sort of human sundial, okay? People use watches these days, Larry. <laughs> or cell phones. Uh, but I think that when this game was made, that was not quite so prevalent. They still existed. <laughs> he could he could have had a cell phone. Heard a bang. Gonna press that. Where did the sound come from? Yeah, well I wasn't too sure about that. I looked around, you know. Did you look at the lake? Yeah, I looked. I looked out over the lake, but I didn't see a bo oh Wasn't there a boat on the lake? Well, Mr. Butts. Whoa, whoa. Everybody just calm down, okay? I mean, it was real foggy that night. I'm not sure whether there was a boat out there or not. Oh, okay, no problem. That's just the most important part of this case. Hmm. That doesn't help. Single gun- Ah, single gunshot. So you only heard one bang, correct? Yeah. Uh-oh. 
Oh. Well, Nick? Hmm. It was a pretty wishy-washy testimony, wasn't it? I guess I should just start working on the contradictions. Okay. Sorry. I wish I could be more helpful. I wish I could call my sister. Start working on the contradictions. Out on the lake. Alright. I don't think there's necessarily a contradiction there. I was looking for something and I found it. Oh, uh... Metal detector... Where's the... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, we're gonna use that on the last one. I'm pretty sure We don't have uh... Well, no, I'm not gonna present that Maybe I'm misremembering I thought that we had Like in evidence his his machine for uh, for blowing up the steel samurai But it looks like we don't okay I'm gonna move on. Quietly slip the boat back in at the rental shop dock. Lotta's camera, Robert's autopsy report. There's an empty lake. Taken at 11.50, okay. Well, he said it was foggy though. So I, don't, I don't know if we necessarily have a contradiction there or not. I know I definitely wanna use this on, on the statement where he says he only heard one. I'm having a hard time like focusing on this because I know I'm gonna do that one then just as I was going home I heard this bang I looked out over the lake but I didn't see a boat or was I supposed to use it on the other one the one I just passed we don't have anything on the boat rental shop in here except for Polly Oh my god, are we gonna have to call Polly to the stand? That would be incredible. I, okay, I think this is it, because it, it specifically says single shot. Okay. Let's start here. And present that. Wait a sec, Larry. What? You only heard one bang? You're sure? That's what I said. But Miss Lotta Hart testified yesterday that she heard two bangs. And the old man just now said the same thing. They both heard two gunshots that night. Huh? Were you even listening? Were you paying attention at all to what they said? Oh crap. Yo, Nick, please. Huh? You know, something's been bothering me. I'm a witness, see? I'm like a customer here. <laughs> no, you're not a customer. <laughs> so you gotta treat me nice and stuff, okay? <laughs> Sorry, Phoenix. I'm, I'm uh, This one actually is just so absurd that it's, it's funny. It's funny he's gonna ruin this case for us. Mr. Butts? What? You only heard one gunshot, are you sure? Um... Well, to tell you the truth, I'm not sure. What? Eh? Not sure? How could you not be sure? Y yeah, well, what, we, is he gonna say he wasn't actually there? I, uh, might have missed the other gunshot. I was, uh, listening to something else. Something else? My radio, dude, with my headphones. What? Oh, we are so boned. Order, order, and, <laughs> and stop that booing. M Mr. Butts, you were listening to the radio with your headphones? Yeah, so what? That a crime? I listen to my radio. Everyone listens to the radio. What's the big deal? Hmm. Mr. Von Karma, your opinion? Waste of time. I do not accept this witness nor his shoddy testimony. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, should he continue the testimony? Ah, uh, oh no. Okay. 
All right, let's think about this. Because continuing has hurt us before. I feel I feel like that's the way to go. Because really, what else do we? We don't have anything else. Is the problem? <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna have him continue. I I got nothing. Your Honor, please please allow the witness to continue his testimony. Bah! Nothing is more pitiful than a lawyer who doesn't know when he's lost. Very well, Mr. Butts. Please give your testimony and be sure to include details like your radio. Right. Leave it to me. I wouldn't if there were any other way out of this. Believe me. Uh, what Larry heard. Okay. It's lonely being alone on Christmas Eve. That's why I was listening to an all-request radio sh show on the radio, see? I was listening to it real booming loud-like. But I'm sure I heard that gunshot. I remember exactly what the DJ was saying when I heard it, too. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Whoa. You are listening to your radio at a high volume? Yeah, what's the big problem? Can't a man listen to his radio in peace? Isn't this a free country? I truly believe Larry has no idea what the problem here is. Judge, can you believe a word this witness says? What he heard was probably nothing more than a drum beat up from the radio. True enough, it is difficult to believe this testimony. Objection! Wait, Your Honor. The witness said he remembers exactly what the DJ said when he heard the gunshot. Excuse me? D-J? An announcer, the guy who says things on the radio. Anyway, what this means is when he heard the sound, no music was playing. The DJ only talks between songs, so he could have heard the gunshot from the lake. I'd like to cross-examine the witness, Your Honor. V very well, Mr. Wright. I believe I'm continuing this trade. Okay. Let's think about this. I guess I'm just gonna go for everything. Oh, this isn't going to get us anywhere. So you turned on the radio. Right. I just wanted to hear someone's voice, you know? You don't know what it's like out there, alone, on Christmas Eve. Alone. I shouldn't have said anything. Yeah, mistakes were made. That's why I was listening to an all requests show on the radio. Okay. Probably nothing here. Do you by any chance remember the name of the program you were listening to? No, that is actually, that is potentially relevant. This has nothing to do with the case, Your Honor. Objection sustained. The witness was listening to the radio. That is all we need to know. Tell us, Mr. Butts, how loud was your radio set to that night? I was listening to it real booming loud like. I almost don't want to, I'm not going to press that actually. Why not press that either? All right, I'm, go I'm gonna hold off on that. We'll, we'll press the next statement. Yeah. I think that's our... What did she say? Mr. Wright, please cease these pointless questions. What possible good could knowing what a radio DJ said do us? Indeed, Mr. Von Karma. Mr. Von Karma has a point. I'll allow the question only if you see some reason why we should care. I think we should care. Yeah, alright, we should care. We should care, Your Honor. Of course we should. Why? Uh... Well, how do you know if we don't ask, hmm? Fine, very well. Mr. Butts, please testify to the court. What was the radio announcer saying when you heard the gunshot? Just when she said, hey, it's almost Christmas, I heard the gunshot. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. So that photo... That shows the two people on the lake... Was taken at 12.15, so that would have been...
Hmm. Well, all right. No, actually, that doesn't tell us anything new because we already knew that there was a gunshot before. All right. Never mind. That doesn't that doesn't help us. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think that tells us anything new. Wait. Oh my god, I am so confused. Two sounds like gun two sounds like gunshots just after midnight. So that contradicts these pictures. Alright, but we know the lake was empty. Alright, hold on. I want actually want to take a look at the map. I feel like I feel like I don't quite have enough information. But I wanna I wanna have this kind of fresh in my mind. Hmm. So here are two gunshots after midnight, but we definitely have a picture that was automatically taken before then, which, so that, like, basically, I feel like this contradicts Lada's deposition? This is the most ludicrous testimony I've ever heard, but there is one gleaming ray of hope in there. I've got to press it until we get to the bottom of what happened. Okay, so do I... Do I press that? Or do I just present the thing? I heard the gunshot. I remember exactly what you were saying when I heard it, too. It's almost Christmas. I heard the gunshot. Um... Actually, I'm starting to wonder what that would actually do. Um, shoot, I don't, I don't, I actually don't know which piece of evidence is going to matter the most. I feel like we knew that there was a gunshot before, but that's that contradicts the deposition. Let's try pressing it first. Are you sure? Uh, it's not what I expected. Of course I am. She had this real sexy voice. <laughs> Me and Karma's right. I'm not sure how, to, how that helped us at all. This is the most ludicrous. Uh, yeah. Gotta press it until we get to the bottom of what. So am I, I, I've pressed all the statements except for the two that I. No booming loud. I. Well, all right. I'm. I'm just gonna see. Maybe it does hurt us. I'm just. I just gotta try. Real booming loud. Yeah, you know. And you had headphones on. Yup. I wouldn't think you could hear anything going on outside at all. Wait, wait, am I gonna ask? Are you sure you heard the gun? All right, maybe. Can you pr can you prove that? No, no. Of course you can't. Nah, I can't prove it. But I remember that moment real clear. I mean, while I was talking about it, it came back real clear to me, you know? Okay, so we press that, and we press that. I, so I have to present something. I feel like it's either this picture... ...or it's the deposition, and we just use the deposition... I don't know. Oh my god. I don't know. Because they, they both basically contradict Larry hearing things. Oh, wait, wait. But we were, so we were under the impression that a shot was fired at 11.50 and a shot was fired at 12.15, if I recall correctly. This implies that both were after 12. Or after, basically after midnight. I think I used some goofy numbers, but... Yeah, because initially we thought one shot was before midnight, one was after midnight. 
Larry just confirmed that there was a shot before midnight. Okay, so I think I present this. Uh, no. Ooh, music stopped. Larry, are you absolutely sure what you're saying is correct? Huh? What's with the face? You look scary, dude. Hey, if you're trying to scare me, you better know I don't scare that easy. Is something the matter, Mr. Wright? Your Honor, did you hear what the witness just said? The DJ said, hey, it's almost Christmas. Oh, poor Larry. No, you you helped. You did good. Good. Good butts. <laughs> DJ said, hey, it's almost Christmas when he heard the gunshot. Indeed, and... Almost Christmas means it wasn't Christmas. Do you realize what this means? When he heard the gunshot, it was still Christmas Eve. That would seem to be the case, yes. But that contradicts the two testimonies we've heard so far, Your Honor. Both Miss Hart and the old man said it was after midnight when they heard the shots. In other words, when they heard the gunshots, it was already Christmas. This is a clear contradiction, Your Honor. Order, order! What does this mean? The two prior witnesses heard gunshots after midnight. However, oh, this witness says he heard a gunshot before midnight. Judge, the answer is simple. The current witness is plainly mistaken. Just look at him, suspicious. What? Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you think about Mr. Butts' claim he heard the gunshot before midnight? Larry's right. I'm pretty sure. I feel, I feel pretty good about that. Larry's not mistaken, Your Honor. He heard that gunshot before midnight. Intriguing. So did Von Karma get to the other two witnesses to get them to say it was after midnight? And I wonder why that would matter. I'm assuming you have evidence for this wild claim. I do! Yeah, because then uh, Lada didn't want to show us this. She was like, eh, it didn't seem important. Okay. Oh, the music didn't stop. Crap. Look at this photograph. This was taken by our witness yesterday, Miss Lada Hart, with her automatic camera. The timestamp on the photo reads December 24th, 1150. Oh. Hmm. But there's nothing on the lake in this picture. Your Honor, the real issue here is not why nothing is shown in this photograph. It is why this photograph exists at all. Yeah, you tell him, Phoenix. What do you mean? Your Honor, this photograph was taken by an automatic camera. That camera was set to go off in response to loud noises. Aha! Correct. There was a loud noise on the lake at 11.50 p.m. That is why this photograph was taken. In other words... When Larry heard that gunshot, it was most definitely still Christmas Eve. Indeed, it would seem that this is the case. Then where does that leave us? Miss Hart testified that she heard gunshots after midnight. Are you claiming she was mistaken? Not at all, Your Honor. It is a fact that the camera also triggered at 15 minutes after midnight. Your Honor, that night there were two sets of gunshots with a 25 minute pause between them. Why would this be? Well, all right, I know I don't know that. Don't be fooled, Judge. That camera is set to respond to loud noises. Yes. There's no proof that the loud noise at 11:50 was a gunshot. Why the witness could have sneezed, triggering the camera. Hey, my nose is clear that night. Clear that night, man. Clear. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright. There's no turning back now. Can you prove that the loud noise at 11.50 p.m. was indeed a gunshot? Please show the court evidence if you have any. Oh, no. Okay.
Man. What do we have? Okay. Let's think about this. I might need a minute to think about this. These are the core evidence. Is it the map? I don't know. All right. We're running a little bit long. I'm gonna, we're gonna take a quick break, come back and uh, God, I think this one over. I don't know what, okay, let's just, let's just read through everything, I guess. the gunshot fired through oh fired three times fired through okay never mind never mind uh okay we're back this is my evidence the murder weapon something about this pistol was bothering me your honor both of the witnesses who testified yesterday say they heard two gunshots however the murder weapon was fired three times okay there we go when then was the last shot fired? Only now have I realized the truth. That third shot was the shot Larry heard just before midnight. Order, order, hmm. It makes sense with the evidence we've seen so far. However, this leaves me wondering what exactly, wondering exactly what did happen that night on the lake. Exactly. If this is true, there were two sets of gunshots separated by 25 minutes. One at 11.50, another at 15 minutes after midnight. Why, I ask you, why? Oh, I'd better think of something quick. Wait a second. Gunshots separated by 25 minutes? Ah! What's wrong, Nick? I have it. I have it! Huh? Remember the case with the Steel Samurai? Huh? Yeah, of course I remember. The murderer in this case had the same idea as the murderer in that case. What do you mean? Maya, yes? If we don't figure this out now, we'll never overturn Ed Edgeworth's guilty verdict. I've got a hunch and I'm going to run with it. Uh -oh. Right, I mean, is this safe? Safe? We've already gotten a guilty verdict. We have nothing to lose. You just watch let me know if I say anything that sounds fishy, okay? Right, Nick. Man, I wonder how long this is gonna go. We are, we are running long, but I, I wanna see if we can get to like a, a more natural breaking point. <laughs> yeah, yes, Mr. Wright. The testimony just now has cleared up this entire case. What do you mean, Mr. Wright? Tsk, tsk, tsk. So you finally realize the truth. There can be no other murderer here than, Mr. than Miles Edgeworth himself. Wrong, Von Karma. A man was shot that night, but it wasn't Edgeworth who did the shooting. Listen, Nookie. Take a deep breath and consider the facts. At the time of the murder, one boat was on that lake. This was shown by the witness's photograph. The defendant, Edgeworth, and the victim, Robert Hammond, were on the, that boat. There was a gunshot fired on that boat and Robert Hammond fell into the lake. The distance of the shooting was one meter. It couldn't have been suicide. Well, the guilty party has to be the other man on that boat. I admit it is hard to imagine any other possibility. Yes, but this assumes that the victim was shot at 15 minutes after midnight. What do you mean by that, Mr. Wright? Are we saying this was a suicide? Oh, I 
wonder. Is, is like Edgeworth? Is Edgeworth like taking the fall? This reminds me of a Danganronpa trial, if if this is what I think it is. I don't want to spoil that for anyone who hasn't played Danganronpa, because that was a really cool trial. But I feel like if you have played the first Danganronpa, you'll know what I'm talking about. We have photographic evidence at the time of the shooting. The timestamp on the photo says 15. But Larry heard a gunshot 25 minutes before that. Robert Hammond was killed then, 25 minutes before the shot on the lake. That's the only way that Edgeworth could be innocent. Mr. Wright, are you quite mad? Explain who the two men on the boat are. I think it's Edgeworth and Hammond. If it's what I think it is... I don't think it's Edgeworth and the murderer. Unless... Okay, maybe it isn't what I thought. <sighs> I'm so confused. I want to say it's Edgeworth and Hammond. Miles Edgeworth and Robert Ham. Oh wait, no, that's bad. That's not what I want. Yes, I believe you're mad. That is exactly what I've been telling the court this whole time. You're agreeing with me, and yet, what did you just say? That Robert Hammond had been killed 25 minutes before the shot on the boat. Uh, yes, that's what I said. I was just testing you, Von Karma. Mr. Wright, your client has already been declared guilty once. I'm going to have to penalize you for this foolishness. Uh, bah, I'll ask you again. Is it Edgeworth and the murderer? Did he shoot? Okay, so here's the other theory that I'm running with. Is that Edgeworth saw Hammond being murdered and then did Edgeworth... Or was, or was that guy framing Edgeworth? Like, taking him out on the boat to frame him? Of course, it was Edgeworth and the murderer. After the murderer killed Robert Hammond at 11.50, he assumed the guise of Mr... Oh, okay. Of Mr. Hammond and met Edgeworth. What? Are you serious? Yes, Edgeworth won't tell us why he went to the lake that night. However, I have a hunch. That night, Robert Hammond called Edgeworth to the lake. Now, Edgeworth didn't know Robert Hammond's face that well. That's why he didn't suspect anything when the murderer took Robert Hammond's place. I'm not sure what to make of all this. L ludicrous. Aha! He's on edge. Mr. Wright, tell us the name of the murderer, then. The murderer's name? Right. It's... I don't think it's any of those people. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, we are running pretty long, so uh, I'm, I'm gonna stop it here. We'll figure out who the what the murderer's name is in the next episode. Oh uh, man, I'm really digging this trial because it's like it's keeps it's keeping me guessing. I like that. I, I like keep having to like reformulate what I think is happening. All right, cool. That's gonna do it for me. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.